Greetings, it is I, Susie Q. <laughs> What's showing up in your field, lighting you up, turning you on, and illuminating the miracles in your juicy, juicy field. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about what we call psychic awareness. And some people are like, well, I don't know what a psychic is. I don't think I believe it. <laughs> it's super fun when we take a look at that. But psychic awareness is something that might happen. Uh, I started having some of these qualities when I was about four years old, and then as I got more mature, I was busy with kids and taking care of my little kiddos and things. So, um, but yeah, the psychic stuff is really, really powerful. And so when we're talking about psychic awareness, there's just so many things that we could kind of engage with. But I think for right now, we're going to just kind of do like a 101 <laughs> regarding the psychic awareness. So, so let's say now all of a sudden, uh, sometimes like things come in really spontaneously, like all of a sudden you get all these insights and it's like, I've never had that before, right? So now you got it, now what do you do next, right? So a lot of times when people come in, like I do different sessions with people here in Scottsdale, I can do them over the phone too, which is cool. So I could do the Akashic Records over the phone. I could also do some other hypnosis work over the phone. And I also do the work of Dolores Cannon, qu uh, Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique, and that has to be in person. So, um, But a lot of these qualities are showing up uh, as people come in for these sessions, and I think that they're starting to gain more higher insights. So let's just say you're starting to get some of those insights, some synchronicities, some things that are just kind of coming through that's real easy and, and really beneficial for you. And sometimes the psychic stuff might be kind of some stinker energy, right? So sometimes the energies that come in that are kind of infused in your consciousness may not be the best for you. So there's a lot of opportunities that we can really take a look at and go, what is the best in this experience? What is the best in this experience? So, um, so now I was going to talk a little bit too. So when I was about four years old, I was having different, um, I don't know, different experiences. And as a lucid dreamer, I still am a lucid dreamer. But as a little kid, I was always flying. And I think a lot of us have flying dreams and have these uh, abilities that maybe we don't even have a body, but we're soaring above some land mass or you know, just kind of seeing different things. So a lot of times when we're looking at these psychic qualities that could be bundled up with some other abilities like that lucid dreaming and that psychic awareness. Now I used to do um, psychic, <laughs> psychic fairs um, back in Houston, but I always called it the Akashic Records. And now I'm just kind of saying, listen, Listen, people, I'm acknowledging that I'm fairly psychic. Um, and there's a, there's a caveat with that, right, you know, is that when we look at the ability to gain insights from other uh, energies, um, we really want to kind of make some choices on how we want to operate if we are experiencing these psychic impressions or thoughts or visions. They may be precognitive or uh, in different qualities. So, but what I would have to say, um, and I've had a whole process with all of this, uh, as my Kundalini event happened in 2015 and a lot of gifts came in, like way too many. <laughs> I can also help people if they're getting too many gifts at the same time to find a way to balance that as well as being in your your, 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 in your home and in your work and with your friends. Um, but the main thing I would say about the psychic quality that I found, uh, I didn't really know how to do it at the beginning. And then finally I thought, well, I think I need to talk to somebody. So I went to another beautiful psychic friend, Christy Ruiz, back in Houston. She passed. Um, but she really gave me some guidance because when I first met her, I think it was back in 2016, and she was, we were in a networking group um, down there in Houston, and she came in late, and um, she didn't know who I was, but she said, I know, I know what you do, and I was like, I didn't say anything because it was my first time to be in the group, but anyway, afterwards, I said, well, so what is it that you do? Because she said, we, you do, we do the same thing. She said, I'm psychic, you know, and she said, oh, okay, you're, I'm psychic too, right? I'm a psychic too, so I thought it was pretty fascinating, but when we're looking at these qualities of having psychic awareness is that this is what Christy told me. She said, probably back in 2017 or 2018, she said, 
you don't have to have that psychic meter or that psychic antenna out all the time. She said what you could do is have, she didn't, I made up this, but I said it's an on and off switch when I'm going into psychic awareness. I don't want to hear everybody's thoughts and everybody's impressions. You know, I have a partner. I don't want to hear all of his stuff. You know, it's private, right? And so it's really interesting when we start looking at it. So people ask, well, are you psychic? I'm like, yes, but I've, I've, I'm able to go on or off with it. I just don't need to hear the noise, right? So when I first had these gifts back in 2015, uh, the noise was pretty freaking loud. <laughs> it's pretty freaking loud. It wasn't fun. It was not fun. But through Christy Ruiz's guidance, she said you could just do it. You could do the psychic work on a Tuesday or Thursday, maybe for two hours or, you know, look at a schedule. And so I didn't really look at a schedule, but I decided I'm going to turn it off. And then when I need it, I'll turn it on. And then I turn it back off because that noise is quite loud. So this psychic awareness is pretty fun. I've got some notes here. And so even when I was doing those uh, psychic fairs, you know, I was, I was calling it the Akashic Records, but basically I'm psychic, right? <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing. It's like, what is psychic, you know? Um, but anyway, so when people would come in with the Akashic records, and of course I'm using my psychic ability to pull the records for them, the Akashic records, is that I would start noticing that uh, whatever they were talking about, um, we'll see if we can go to its highest expression. So for a while I would come here and then I would swish it out because that vibration was too low for the conversation that we were going to get. I'm going to take my notes off here real quick. Um, but yeah, so but when we start working with that vibration and when we go into the conversations with people, you know, you could kind of go like we're going to just we're going to move it until we get it to its highest expression. So it was kind of like a swish down and then releasing that energy. Sometimes I'd have to do it a while, you know, to get that energy out until we get to the highest expression for that person to find their goodness and their uh, awareness. So if they come in for a session with me, is that I want to go to the highest expression that that soul has, because I'm always willing to go as deep and high and magnificent, uh, depending on them, but, but I can also assist them through the psychic qualities uh, to kind of set some things aside or just start releasing some things and then going into that awareness of what is what is real for you now, what is beneficial for you now, and what will assist you as you're moving forward in your life. And everything that I do with the psychic qualities is very, um, very benevolent. It's like really sweet. It's very loving. It's very... Um, I don't know, it just, it just feels so yummy when I do this work because it feels like, you know, I feel like, it, it, even back in Houston, I've got another story. So back in Houston, I worked with a um, psychologist office and I had some spaces there to do my, my readings and my Akashic reading. And um, people would always come in and I would kind of be more in a meditative state when I was getting into the records, but they would all me, always see me as an older woman uh, or an older uh, tribal woman. And so I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I look like that, right? But it was always an older, older, um, older woman. So I kind of morphed in front of them. I don't see it for myself, but I acknowledge that they saw something uh, in me. So when we're working with these beautiful states of consciousness is that it, it feels like even though I don't resonate as that ground, I'm still a grandma, right? But um, I don't resonate as being the old, old, ancient person. I just see myself as being a beautiful guide, a beautiful grandmother type or a beautiful friend that wants to just say I'm just so proud of you everything that you're doing is perfect and amazing and I just love observing all the goodness that you bring into your field and the more that you can go a little bit deeper 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 and go higher 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 with your vibration you're gonna be find more guidance there and as you find that more guidance you start kind of leaning into the possibility or the potentiality that you possibly are also gaining some insights through intuition, through psychic awareness, or just through uh, synchronicity. You start noticing what's happening. And so it's really beautiful when we come together uh, in our sessions and we have a kindred spirit. It's almost as if there's a part of us that have been together for many, many years and that we're, we're just old friends, right? You know, but everything I do is 
is with love and with um, beautiful sweetness and beautiful compassion and goodness and always bringing in those higher, higher, higher vibrations as we're moving through this beautiful, beautiful earthly school. So with the psychic awareness, it could come on suddenly. It could go dormant for a while, but again, you can infuse it to go deeper again. So you have the ability. So whatever you think you're feeling stuck with some of these qualities is you just need to go a little bit deeper, a little bit higher with your frequency to call that, uh, that energy in to assist you with what you're uh, seeking in your life. And so, and it could even be, you know, just an amazing experience to just start noticing lucidity in your dream state just noticing you're kind of got a little you know kind of got a little messenger over here to kind of talking to you a little bit so psychic awareness is really really powerful and everything I do with it is like I said is very benevolent and really happy and joyful I keep you know wiping things out that aren't you know in that vibration that I work with so my vibration is pretty high so I really want to continue to reinforce for people that when they come in is if we need to do a little bit of clearing or raising that vibration I'll be happy to do that so I think that's all for now. Uh, psychic awareness is part of my vibe, and it's probably always been there, and it's probably been through many different uh, lifetimes as well, as I'm guessing. So have a beautiful day, and may you kind of go in there and infuse what it is that you would like to have in your life, you know, with better relationships, with better healing of the body, and more abundance. So I'm sending all of that beautiful love and light to you right now. So have a great day, and namaste. <laughs>